Ivan, thanks for that introduction. That's probably the only time I think I've ever been in, uh, introduced that way. Um, so, uh, so has everybody had a good time in Chicago so far? Have you guys had an opportunity to visit the show floor? Is there anything exciting up there? Because I have yet to get up there. Anything new and exciting that's, that made it fun to come to Chicago? Or just nightlife? A little of everything? Well, uh, my name is John Luck. Uh, I've been with Miller Electric for 21 years. Um, I just recently uh, transitioned into the training department, This uh, basically the beginning of this year. And uh, really the uh, purpose for uh, my presentation, or the presentation I'm going to give, is to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we have available to you guys um, as far as training materials go. Um, I'll show you how to access some of it. And there's a lot of stuff that's actually free. And we've got a lot of information or a lot of tools now that uh, we've just kind of revamped over the last year or two. So um, uh, posters and different things like that that are available to you guys for your classrooms, labs, and things like that. So uh, we will uh, we'll cover those things. We actually have a couple new things that we're going to talk about towards the end of the presentation. Um, uh, new and exciting things that uh, we're just getting ready to release. We, they're not even available yet, but we're going to show them to you guys. Okay? So, um, the first thing I'm going to probably start off with is, um, is basically the, the uh, tools that we, the, the current printed tools that we have available. Um, like I said, we've got printed material, we've got electronic material, and we've also got some face-to-face -face training. The first thing I'm going to start off with is some of the printed material that's available out there, okay? We have a variety of different uh, books. Um, they're little topic books like this. So it's specifically for TIG welding or specifically for MIG, stick welding, engine drives, power source design, basic electricity. They're all broken out in specific little books like this. Um, I will go ahead and pass these around. I've got a couple samples here that I can pass around. If you've never seen them, uh, those are available. Um, the ones with asterisks on right now, uh, we're still working on them. We still are, are redoing them. Um, but a lot of these uh, uh, books have been recently updated with new images and things like that. So the pictures and stuff don't look like they're 30 or 40 years old. So, uh, and some of the material has changed as well with some of the advancements that we've made with power sources and processes and things. The one thing I'll say about these uh, particular uh, books is it's not so much about training people how to weld. It's more about the fundamentals of how to make a machine system work. Okay, it's amps, volts, what they do, how they work. It's the other side. It's not the skillful, the skill um, teaching that uh, um, we also have to do. But um, these are great books. Uh, there's also filler metal uh, books that are also available. If you guys want to look at a sample of that, you're welcome to do that. Um, what I'd like to do, if you guys are interested in a sample of one of those, uh, we'll send you a free copy of like the MIG book or something like that. Um, if you want to write, jot your name down here and your address, when I get back to Appleton, we'll have them mailed out to your, uh, um, to your uh, location. So if, you, if you're interested, if not, you don't need to sign in there. That's fine. This, it's purely so we can, we can send you some free stuff that is um, typically not free. These books are normally... Uh, they're, they're purchased, so it's one of the things that we have to, that we actually charge for. And just to be honest with you, we don't make any money at them. Um, with just the print uh, charges, that basically is the cost of the material. So, um, to access this, if you guys are interested in ordering any of the books that you saw up there, you can uh, go online to MillerWelds.com. Um, I'll click here, and uh, if you go actually to the Miller Welds uh, website. Uh, which normally looks like this. Uh, the place you want to go to is at resource. Um, I'll, I'll try to not go too quickly here, but if you get to the website, if you scroll over these tabs, okay, where it says resources, okay, and you scroll down and it says resources for sale. You click on that, and that will bring up all of our materials that uh, we have available, and there's all the descriptions of the product. We even are of, of the uh, books. We also have Spanish versions as well, so you can order either version if you would like. Um, <clears throat> once you uh, have identified what you're looking for, you can simply call the the, uh, the website. Sorry, that stuff. 
I'm sorry, the, not the website. You can call Miller Electric at that uh, literature number up there. You can just call the, the Miller number if you have a Miller number and ask to speak with literature and you can, you can buy the books on, um, over the phone, okay, with a credit card. All right, there's also other things. There's videos available, calculators, all kinds of stuff that's, that are available to you guys. These are purchased items, okay? Um, next, we also have posters. Uh, recently, um, within the last year to two years, I don't know if you guys have seen, but we've come out with some new posters, a variety of different uh, topics. Um, this particular number four is MIG processes. It's talking about short circuit, globular spray, and pulse spray. So it tells you a little bit about the, the, the particular uh, transfer mode. The nice thing about some of these posters, um, for students that have smartphones, and most students today have smartphones, I don't think they make dumb phones anymore. I think for the most part, everything is a smartphone. We have QR codes on these. So, for example, um, you can read all you want about it, but if you want to take your phone and scan the little QR code, these little QR codes here, um, it will specifically talk about short circuit transfer. Okay, it will, it will show you a movie, and uh, give you a lot more detail about that. And actually, I can scroll over one of these and do it. I'll do the short circuit. That's what. This is what the, uh, the student would see, or you would see if you scrolled over it. Let me see if I can get this on one screen. And because we are on Wi-Fi in here, um, I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to work. It doesn't look like it's going to work super well, um, because it's already stopped. Um, but it basically will take them right to this um, YouTube page, and it's a fantastic little video. I mean, it shows and describes exactly what short circuit is. So um, I'm hoping that it buffers real quickly and you guys get an opportunity to see this. There's also um, uh, verbiage that goes along with this. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it because it's not necessarily hooked up with speakers. There's an intro. Okay. So you can see, um, I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's buffering too much in here, but uh, it gives a great video and explanation of what short arc is, the advantages of it, why you'd be using it, why you wouldn't be using it, okay? So, um, these posters are available. Um, this particular, uh, the whole series of them, like I said, there's seven or eight of them. Uh, they're free. Um, all you need to do is call into that literature distribution number and ask for the posters. The problem, I'm going to tell you, if you do it in the next couple of days, there may be some problems because these are just being put into our, they're just being put into our system. So you might say, I want this poster. And, and because it's not through the through our electronic system, I would say though by the end of this month, by the end of November, you'll be able to go onto our website and, and order them. And like I said, free of charge. Um, there are other ones as well. Um, obviously, welding positions. You know, uh, you've got one F, two F, two G, three G, four G. Um, these are really nice to scan because it shows multiple views of the person doing the weld, okay? So it shows you first pass, second pass, third pass, if you're doing groove welds. And uh, oh, it's, just, it's picking back up on the short arc. I don't know where my speakers are. That's the problem. Okay, they might be down there. All right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly do the, the 3G just so you get an idea of the imagery that's uh, uh, on these. It's very um, high definition images. The nice thing about the particular positions one, um, you don't hear any, there's no voiceover. So it's something you can actually show in a classroom Okay, so you don't necessarily have to scan this. I'll show you how to get to them in other places. Great. 
but um, it uh, you can talk talk it over with your students as you know so if you have a large class rather than sitting in a booth with three or four people you can actually cover a lot of ground in a classroom showing them some of these things and it normally doesn't freeze up like this when you have a, a, a pretty good connection um, but I want to keep this on for just a brief moment so that uh, On the right-hand side of the um, uh, video, you'll see the position we're calling the 3G vertical groove. Um, it's all blurry now, but um, it tells you some of the parameters, okay? We're putting the first pass in. It's a short circuit transfer. It's eventually gonna change the view here. You can see that this is the first weld we're putting in is the bead, or the, the, hot, uh, the uh, root pass, okay? That gives an, um, we're using an ER70S6 wire. We don't tell them diameter. We don't give parameters. Okay, we're going to leave that up to, you know, it's all kind of specific on everything. So, but here you can actually get a relatively decent view of, of what the uh, weld is looking like, and then you get the further back view of it as well. So you can show them uh, a little bit of technique there. Okay. After it's done, it will go to the second pass, third pass, and show all those types of things. Has anybody seen these videos yet or done any? Do you have? Okay, good. good. So there's a whole series of these things that are out there. Okay. I'm going to shut that down. <clears throat> um, the other type of uh, posters that are available for you guys are, are just the plain old, uh, this particular one's uh, uh, gas shielded flux cord. And basically what it is is. Uh, it's uh, the parameters to run a wire at a, a given wire feed speed and a good voltage so you produce a nice weld, okay? At a good travel speed, all the angles are, are, are fixed. Then uh, basically we provide four different variables there. What happens if you change the voltage, if you turn the voltage down? This is what it looks like. If you turn the voltage up, this is what it looks like, okay? That's the only variable that's changed. So it gives a student an idea of that specific variable of changing your, your torch angle or travel speeds or voltage or wire feed speed setting. They can get a visual of it and, and they can see the etched uh, penetration pattern as well. Okay, so those are available. Um, I think we have, uh, that particular one is the gas shielded flux core. I think we have MIG, uh, we have short arc spray, pulse spray, and we may have self shielded the uh, gasless flux core wire as well. All right? All right. <clears throat> Has anybody used any YouTube videos or anything like that uh, for any classroom presentations or anything like that you have? Um, there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of information that you guys can, can use. I would recommend, at least I would recommend, um, uh, you can subscribe to certain channels. Miller Electric, for example, has a channel out there. You can subscribe where you tell us your name and you can go right to the Miller channel. And what that means is um, it kind of filters out a lot of the other YouTube videos. And there's a lot of good ones out there. I'm not saying that, that we only make good videos, but there's a lot of bad ones out there as well. There's a lot of ones that you have to filter through. So um, I would recommend subscribing. You don't have to. You can certainly get on, on there and... Uh, and uh, uh, try to get through all of the stuff, but if you do subscribe, I'll show you a little little trick. Um, you basically have to f sign your name, your email address, or whatever, and uh, it logs me in right immediately to Miller Weld, so I get to see all of the videos. It, actually, there's some Fabtech stuff that was just uh, uploaded about 41 minutes ago, so there's a lot of very um, uh, current stuff on here as well, but um, if I go to the very top, and go for a search, for example, if I want to search subarc or if I want to search plasma um, cutting or anything like that, and I type it in that top, top search bar, it's going to search the whole YouTube site. What you want to do is you want to be down in this one right here if you want to search for that particular channel. It took me about 
three or four days to figure that out. I was wondering what was the whole benefit of, of me subscribing to Miller Electric's website when every time I typed in, I want to see something about TIG welding, it brought up all these different channels or all these different videos. Well, it's because I wasn't actually in the right area. You got to be down in this area down here. And uh, when you type it in there, you're only going to see Miller approved videos on there. So, um, so there, is, there are a lot of things on here. In fact, um, some of the videos, actually all of the videos um, that you see on these posters are also lo located on the YouTube site. Here's one of those examples. Here's a uh, 4F overhead fillet weld, okay? So you don't have to scan all these things to get the videos. You can go on the, the, the YouTube site and actually um, uh, fire them up. You can, you can actually build yourself like a playlist if you want to show vertical, horizontal, you can, it will go automatically right through all of them if you want to, if you want to spend the time and, and set it up that way. So, um, a lot of good information on there, um, and it's free, so. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, any of you that have visited the Miller website, um, we've got a lot of these different tabs on there. There's a lot, there's a lot of information on a lot of different websites, and just ours alone has a lot of stuff stored in it, and knowing where to go is half the battle sometimes, okay? Because there's a lot of stuff on there. There's a lot of product stuff. I mean, that's, that's what Miller Electric does for the most part. We build and sell products, so there's a lot of information on product. Uh, I'm going to click on this uh, and, and show you guys some areas that uh, have a lot of information on them that aren't so product specific, okay? I'm, I'm taking us right back to the, to the home page there. This is, uh, this is the site you're gonna, the page you'll see when you go to millerwells.com. Again, all this product stuff. I can click on any of that stuff and I can get a lot of information on different types of machines. Where to buy, service. But it's this resource area over here um, that houses a lot of information, okay? There's, that resources for sale, that's where you'd buy all these little topic books, okay? It's also um, where you would get um, some, some videos and different things like that if you wanted to purchase discs and things like that. Um, yeah, you're welcome to pass those around as well. Um, and anybody that walked in late, if there's a little t uh, um, piece of paper, and if you want to put your address down there, um, I'll send you uh, some of the free topic books or a free topic book and uh, maybe some posters as well. Um, so uh, this, when, once you get to the Miller um, homepage and you go to the resources, um, there's a lot of stuff in here, video libraries, improving your skills, discussion forums. Sometimes, uh, I don't know if you guys run into situations where people will ask you a particular question about something that you may not know a whole lot about. Um, there's a lot of different avenues that you can go. Um, you can search a lot of forums. I mean, you can just search it online, you can Google it. You can go directly to this site. A lot of the stuff gets pulled from here. If you Google like how to weld 4130, what filler metal do I use? There's a good chance that one of the, it's gonna pull up one of our forms where they're talking about how to weld 4130 uh, uh, material. So um, those discussion forms are in there. There's a lot of good information. Um, the, uh, the, reason, oh, the reason I'm going to this particular page is this improving your skills, okay? So first thing I go, resources and improving your skills. When you get to this particular area, obviously you can uh, filter some of the noise or some of the different uh, processes out. You can go to MIG, you can go to TIG, you can go to stick or plasma cutting. Um, I'm just gonna go to TIG real quick. It brings up a page uh, where it briefly describes the benefits of TIG welding. Um, but if I scroll down, there is a ton of information on this page. I'll try to make it fit here real quick. Of course I can't. Um, there's this thing called tips and hints, or, or TIG hints and tips. Um, you click on that and there's basically uh, what TIG welding is. You can go through this whole thing and it will go through a whole series of, of what TIG welding is, the benefits of it. You can go through setup, how to, physically how to position your hands correctly 
um, how to in introduce the filler metal on the right angles and things like that. Um, and there's, as, as you can see here, there's a fair amount of animation to this. So it's not just pictures. So it physically will show people how to do things, okay? So that is about the extent of us teaching people actually how to weld. Most of the stuff that we have is teaching people about the process, about how to set machines, how to, what different controls do. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to go back to this. Um, there's the, the different calculators and different things out there. Um, articles and stories. I don't know if uh, any of your students have to do any kind of uh, reports or anything like that, but there's a lot of uh, articles um, and stories out there that they can research or they can download and at least read up on it to see how certain people did different things, uh, maybe to help build a, uh, a report for them, or at least provide them with the information. Um, there's uh, reference guides, calculators, guidelines. Um, in fact, if you, if you get to this, you can, you can go directly to the resources for purchase. This is where you see the books, the videos, calculators, different packages that are available to purchase, okay? Those are some of the, uh, some of the different things. Discussion boards, uh, welding projects. Um, there's just a lot of information that is stored on these uh, different pages, but the, the, what my biggest thing is trying to get you guys, if you're looking for information, it's usually in the resource tab up here, okay? This, this tab up here is where a lot of our information is. Okay, registering products, owners clubs, manuals, uh, different things like that. Okay. Has anybody ever visited that page before? Okay. okay good. All right. <clears throat> do you guys ever do projects with students? Do they have specific projects that they have to do from time to time? Do you guys always uh, spell it out for them what they're doing, or do they have an option of bringing their own projects in or, okay. Well, <clears throat> if you get somebody that uh, maybe doesn't know exactly what they want to do, which is probably not the case many times, but there may be some students that uh, maybe they've, they're not quite sure what they want to do. Um, we have a projects page, okay, welding projects page. It's on our website. Um, they can go on there and get some ideas, okay. There are thousands of different projects that people have submitted. It doesn't tell them specifically how to build the project. It doesn't give them blueprints. It will give them an idea of a project that they could do, whether it's uh, you know, something for their car, something for home, something for uh, whatever it may be. There's a lot of different uh, topics, and uh, I'll bring us into that real quick just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, and and we kind of don't let just any projects show up here if it's not a valid project. If, we, we don't, so they're filtered from Miller Electric, so it's not like anybody can post anything out there. Um, but there is uh, auto and cycle in the home, lawn and garden, uh, farm and ranch, metal art, recreation. Then we've got more of the industrial type of projects that are out there. And you can see all the different uh, images or photos that are, that are listed. There's 477 in the shop. There's 472 of autos and cycles. So they can go through there. If they don't have a good idea of what they want to do, um, and maybe identify something that, that uh, uh, they weren't thinking about. So um, that's out there and available, obviously. Um, they can go through all those um, uh, uh, images. All right, close out of that. Thank you. Um, Instructor courses. Um, every year we have a we we have a date. This year it is July fifteenth through the seventeenth. Um, that's held in Appleton, Wisconsin. If you guys are interested, um, it's a three day course. Uh, we'll be covering uh, those topics up there. Maybe a little bit of some different stuff as well, but that's typically what we cover. Um, we'll do uh, some plant tour stuff. We'll get to see a little bit of everything. If there's a particular thing that's of interest to you, we will take time and we'll make sure that we cover it, okay? But uh, we typically hold that. That is really intended for instructors only. Um, and uh, it is, uh, if, if you know how um, the, uh, the training for Miller Electric, we are typically um, 
involved with training welding distributors. That is our big purpose at Miller Electric is we need to train welding distributors what our products do and how to sell them and those types of things. Uh, we don't typically get involved with too many um, uh, uh, end user type of tra end user training. Well, this is one of those areas that we do. We do uh, the instructor training. So it's a lot of fun. Um, three days in Appleton, getting away from wherever you are is always a, a treat. And uh, we'll show you a good time in Appleton too. So. The cost of that is uh, $300. It's $100 a day, basically. Okay? And your lunches and things like that are all provided. So, so. Okay? Any questions on that at all? Has anybody been to an instructor class? We actually did it in Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, one of your regional. Rick Braun, maybe, or somebody like that? Yeah. Was it this year or was it last? No, it was a couple of years ago. Three or four years ago. Okay. We had a Utah. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Sometimes, sometimes we do the regional ones, but I'll tell you, if you have the opportunity to come to Appleton, come to Appleton. Um, not that those regional ones are not good or anything, but you do get to see a little bit difference, a little bit different uh, slant on things, in the fact that you get to go and see where the products are being manufactured, how they're tested. You get to see more stuff, okay? It's a little more entertaining as well, okay, other than strictly training, okay? All right, some things that are coming soon. Um, uh, we um, provide training, like I said, to a lot of our welding distributors, and we have structured classes, structured courses, and we have a lot of different um, presentations that are available, but they're not available to anybody. They're really only available to the Miller trainers. We are getting ready to um, release all of our presentations and make them available to you guys. So if you want a, a presentation on MIG welding, if you want a presentation on TIG welding, stick welding, um, a, a, we have a presentation that you'll be able to go online and bring it up, okay, and use it if you want. The little bit of a trick to it is it, it doesn't allow you necessarily to save it to your computer or modify the information. That has been one of our issues is that uh, um, we don't typically hand out our, our presentations to people because they'll modify them and change them and all of a sudden somebody gets it and thinks it's something from Miller Electric and it really isn't. So there are some, some keys on this thing or some, some uh, locks that prevent you from changing the information. You can always skip over the stuff. Um, this is going to be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up real quick. This is kind of what it looks like, um, maybe. Um, this, uh, we've got it automated right now. These are the slides that are going, so it's going to automatically change. This is a MIG welding one, so it's got videos on it. It talks about the history. It talks about the process. You can go on and do more of an overview of the, what uh, some terms. Okay, advantages and goes down through there. There's videos that, is, that are tied to it. So it is an actual uh, uh, professional um, PowerPoint that, that we deliver to a lot of our um, uh, customers. And it is, it is more of the, the fundamental stuff, like what all the different pieces in the system, what they do, how to adjust them, and, and what, what effects they have on different things. So. Um, there's not a ton of showing people physically the angles and different things like that. Oh, there is some of that in here, but that's not the focus of most of our presentations. Okay? So that's going to become available. I would expect that to be somewhere before the end of the year available. And, and there's going to be a variety of different uh, processes that you're going to be able to get your hands on if you want to. If nothing more, maybe just to review it you know, for yourself because you're going to give a presentation on something else. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay? Will anybody, do you think, anybody use that? Is there any need for a presentation material out there for different processes and stuff? Do you think you would? Okay. Yeah, good. All right. All right. The last item um, is um, something that has also not been released yet. It is, uh, we are working on getting approval right now from, from, uh, Apple on the particular app 
um, and it's actually apps. Um, we have um, a lot of information and it's, it's kind of, you know, we've got uh, internet stuff, we've got laptop stuff, we've got disks, we've got all these different things. We don't have a lot of uh, apps. Um, we do have one app right now, Miller Electric, and that's our calculator that will tell you how to set the amps and the volts for a particular material thickness or a particular process. Um, we are in the process of getting approval for this right now, and I'm going to disconnect this screen so it's going to go blank for a second. And uh, you guys are going to get a sneak peek of this. It's like I said, it's not approved and not released yet. We're waiting. We've got to go through a series of uh, things with Apple to make sure that, it, that they approve of everything and some other stuff like that. But um, uh, okay. Okay. Sweet. All right. You can see up here on the. Um, we have TIG, MIG, and stick welding. Okay, those are three different um, apps, or three different uh, topics. I'm gonna go to the TIG welding one, okay? And I've already opened it up, so let me just go back to this real quick. Uh, and by the way, I got access to this thing last night at six o'clock, so this is my first time touching this particular thing. I apologize, but we are like in the thick of just getting ready to, to launch it. And I haven't had a ton of time to play with it, but uh, uh, it, uh, it, it is a very handy tool. Um, it goes through, you can go through page by page um, in this particular uh, thing. It gives you advantages, um, talks about it. You can press on. Uh, the little blue bar there, and it will show us a 44-second video. Uh, there's an 82-second advantage video over there. I can go back to where I was. Um, I can touch. I can see a really bad-looking weld. Okay, so it's uh, basically like the books that we have. I mean, it's not exactly the books because there's a lot of video and a lot of inf additional information that's found in here. Um, but uh, example, we show a, a, an image like this. You can touch on any one of those pins up there. Um, let's see. And it's going to tell us a little bit about what the tungsten electrodes um, uh, describes them, what their purpose is, okay? So there's a lot of interactive information in here. Um, is, you guys, does anybody work with any kinds of apps in your classes or anything like that? Nothing whatsoever or a little bit? A little bit? Good, good. Um, uh, it, it's a great tool, um, and the nice thing is uh, you can kind of do it on your own time as far as a student goes. Um, these apps um, will be able; they'll be able to get them as well as anybody. These are going to be right in the uh, um, the iTunes Store, Not iTunes Store, but the apps where you can download them. Okay, so you will; they will have access to it. Um, they are not going to be free. We are working on trying to establish a reasonable price for them, and uh, that's that's where. You know, we're getting approval, and we're also we're trying to balance that out. We do have to have some payment as far as we got to try to pay for recoup some of our uh, um, uh, investment there. But uh, does anybody have any recommendations? I'm going to throw that out there as far as how much we should charge for an app. Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that was, you know, there, there are different ways of doing it, and definitely uh, I, I would agree that a lot of times people, uh, if, if it's too much money, they're obviously not, it's not going to be of any, they're not going to download it. So um, I can uh, just briefly oops, go back here, um, back to TIG. Um, 
it is more, it is not so much the, the skill teaching. Correct. I'll click on this app. I have it. TIG is a good choice for welding industrial pipe. A TIG welder has precise control. And since it's a little choppy right now. So, decent images or videos on here. It's not uh, sloppy old stuff. So you get it. joints and repairs are necessary for safety and performance. TIG welding is well suited for accurate work because it provides superior control of arc temperature and concentration. Many applications require a good appearance on welded seams and joints. TIG's clean process and concentrated arc provide a practiced operator the ability to produce smooth, high-quality, good-looking welds that require little post-weld cleanup. So um, you have the whole entire library over here on the left-hand side. I can't even see it. On this side. Uh, basically the chapters of it and uh, within those chapters there's multiple pages with multiple videos and things like that. Um, uh, I'm going to go to, I'll just touch shielding gas. I have no idea what's there because I haven't gone through this. Um, I can s swipe that over. Uh, here's where it talks about shielding gases and there are, it looks like, six different videos that are attached to that. So if you want to know um, what the, the uh, thermal conductivity of shielding gases. It will go through some kind of a video or at least a uh, description of those things. So a lot of good stuff in there. Okay, You can actually hit play all videos and it will run through the whole cycle of things. Okay, Arc starting methods. Is that going to be available? Should be available by the end of the year. For BARD there are no issues with, uh, it's really approval stuff. I think as far as how it functions and the material, the, the stuff that's in there, um, I think we're set to go with that, um, with the MIG, TIG, and stick portions. Um, so it's just a matter of getting approval. And if I, if I, if I knew what kind of, it's not on our schedule, kind of. So I, I, we just are plan. Honestly, we wanted to have it out by now, but it's a little lugged down with, with approval things. So. Um, so. Uh, quickly go on to the, um, for, here is the uh, short circuit transfer one. Um, I'll just hit the video just to see. Short circuit transfer gets its name from the fact that when the I think we saw this earlier. The base metal, it causes an electrical short circuit. The heat required to melt the base metal and the electrode wire is produced when an electrical arc flows from the wire to the workpiece. When the electrode wire contacts the weld pool, it produces a short circuit in the current flow and turns the arc off. Amperage increases to overcome the short, the arc turns back on, and the cycle repeats itself. Controlling the voltage controls the timing and intensity of the on-off circuit, which in turn controls the height and width of the bead. Okay. Some useful stuff for students that may not know technique. I mean, they're there, and, and I can tell you, um, most of the time, it's all about the skill of actually doing the welding that uh, that they are really chomping at the bits for, because um, that's where they kind of like everything flies out the door. They forget how to set the machine correctly, because if, if you can't set the machine correctly, there's, you're going to really struggle to uh, pass that test. So um, this stuff is is kind of handy for trying to get the, that message across. So. Um, so, um, just to recap, um, we've got a number of different materials uh, uh, and tools that are available to you guys. We have the, the printed material, which are the books, okay? Um, you just simply have to uh, look online and, and at, um, at the MillerWelds.com um, and, and find the part number and call into that 1-800 uh, uh, number and order them that way and pay for them with credit card. Um, the posters will be in that same particular area, the same phone number. You'll be able to get the same posters, but those are free. You don't need a credit card. You just need an address. And, uh, and uh, like I said, these aren't going to be on there. You're not, they, they don't have a part number on the system yet. It's not on the website. It's getting posted very shortly. So as soon as you go to that um, literature site, you'll be able to see the part number so that you can tell the, the people on the phone that, hey, I want the 
number one, two, three, four, five poster, and this, and uh, so so they know what we're talking about. Um, so we got the, those that are available. We've got YouTube um, images, and we have a lot of them. There's a lot of posted uh, uh, educational materials that are on YouTube. Okay, all of the different joint uh, positions, uh, processes. Uh, I'd say the majority of the the, the wire processes are posted out there. Um, so, uh, along with that, we will be soon, very shortly, be, uh, making the uh, PowerPoints available to everyone, and uh, hopefully the apps by the end of the year. Okay. Now, what you can do as far as uh, notification, you can check our website. Uh, periodically check our website and you should be able to uh, do a search in the search bar because I don't know where everything is always going to be housed. If you're looking for posters, if you forget that it's in the literature uh, area or how to find it, just go to the search bar, type in posters, it's going to take you there. Okay? The search things work really well because I'll probably forget in another three or four days where to find some of the stuff as well and that's where I would typically go as the search bar to look for whatever it is that I'm, I'm looking for. So.